Angela came into true. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. And so he kind of already had a soft spot going on for Angela, was trying trying to get back to Angela. Exactly. Meanwhile, Angela was the one who got him in all this mess in, in the first place. place. Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of A and B Combo TV. This is our power finale recap and as you can see our set is a little different from our normal a and b because we have a special guest for a special recap this is Anya Hi guys. <laughs> this episode of power was just so uh meaty and full mm -hmm. that we, we just need to another person we have yeah. to start yeah. break this down it's too much it's, it's like three the hard way over here yeah so for me i thought that the finale in general, it just seems a little out of place. We were just talking about the, the pace of it. Mm -hmm. For me, I just felt like when it came on, it was like, it seemed like I skipped an episode. It just seemed weird to me the way that it was, it, it, it started. It struck mm -hmm. me as a part one of two mm -hmm. finale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got that, yeah. yeah. But Anya, you had a very specific <laughs> reasoning why. No, because I never thought about how many episodes of oh, the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently uh, Stars limited power with just 10 episodes for this season um, and they were fighting for 12. But they couldn't get 12 for whatever reason so they have 10 which I also think ignited the feud between 50 and Stars. If you've been on his Instagram recently he is coming at Stars hard basically so saying that power makes Stars. And they do. There's really nothing else on Stars if you think about it other than no. what? Movies? Um, they so, have like a couple things on the horizon. Yeah. But it's not nothing. power. It's nothing. It's not power. Nothing in regards to power. Yeah. Like so, nothing even close. Um, yeah. I think that has a lot to do with why they sort of condensed this episode. Like we didn't get to see Tasha and Ghost react to Raina's death. Yeah. Like we didn't see I someone know. telling them I know. that Raina died. It just immediately they were talking to a detective yeah. and yeah. It, so I do get what you're saying. It kind of felt rushed. Like we missed a lot of yeah. key scenes. Because it was kind of like how y'all get home and all these people in your house? Exactly. Right, right, exactly. right. You know, right. it just was like very, um, a, I mean, I, right. I guess that wasn't really a huge part that they needed to show, mm -hmm. it, but I feel like I would have loved their reaction. Like with Tasha, you yeah. know, that scene in the car when he was saying like, I'm going to fix it. And it was, and that, was like, kinda, yeah, fix that was kind of like their reaction moment to it. But I would have loved to see like that initial phone call. I would mm -hmm. love to see, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. The police section and off like the mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tasha with uh, Terry. Exactly. Oh, she was with Terry. This whole thing mm -hmm. was going on yeah. to uh, Ghost. Right. Terry. That is true. She was with Terry. She was, because she never went. She never went to the gala with um with Jamie. Right. Right. Jamie. Right. So that was that. You know, he was there. Um, Angela was there. That was when she, you know, received her big promotion. Mm -hmm. So it was so it was so much. We didn't even get to see like. I think we kind of missed the kid. Like the kids being kids, and let's be perfectly honest, I, I got the feeling that Raina was pretty popular in school. You know, like everybody's like, oh my gosh, Tommy, we're gonna miss you. Mm. Mm. You're the only one, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, and so we missed over all of that, like the reaction from the yeah. school. Yeah, no, that no, is pictures true. Her, no pictures on her locker, no flyers, teddy bears. Unless nothing. all of that might come next season, maybe they'll do like a flashback to try to make up time. I don't. Oh. Now that you say about the episodes, it kind of almost makes sense, but nothing can make sense of 50 Cent's behavior. I'm very sorry <laughs> for this. But, I mean, it's he needs like... He to humble himself a yeah, little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and that is true that Power does make the Stars Network because yeah. they do not have any original programming that even comes close right. to Power. Right. However, yeah, that 10 episodes for this... It just wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. It was too much going on. Mm -hmm. You know, you saw a lot of things come full circle. Mm -hmm. Like old girl, we all know that Tommy is gonna do a good old queen, good number on a Maria. good old Queensborough. <laughs> I told you so, <laughs> ghost, okay. ghost. Gee, I told you, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he's mm -hmm. going. He's definitely going to do that because Tommy said the killer. Yes, Tommy he did. did say. Remember that we going back to yes, season. Season, yeah. For all those on DVR, for the true season, power fans, season <laughs> one, <laughs> episode two. When they had to get rid of old girl's boyfriend, mm -hmm. Tommy said he gotta go. That was a given. He was going to die either way. Mm -hmm. But we can't cut Tommy. She a girl, you know. She young. She da da da, da with the b -b 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 -b. And when you yeah. think about it, all the 
that happened, right? Didn't all that happen the same night that Ghost met Angela? I think so. Yeah, the same so night that Ghost came into the club with, um... Mm. Well, Angela came into Truth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so he kind of already had a soft spot going on for Angela, was trying, trying to get back to Angela. Exactly. Meanwhile, Angela was the one who got him in all this mess. In the first place. So it all comes back to Angela, who I despised yeah. this oh, season. Well, I give it up. <laughs> I was yeah. not killing Angela yeah. this season. I mean, I feel like she tried to write her wrong. No, you did not just give her a nickname. If we've been calling her Angela the Block, oh, we yeah. have. No. Yeah, Angela the Block. She, 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 she doesn't deserve a nickname. Her she, name is Angela Valdez. She's been throwing at some of her, like, Queen's uh, street stuff, like, uh, sporadically throughout the seasons. But she realized her wrong and she righted it. Like, she, I mean, B thinks that they... We'll kind of get back together because no they way. still got. He this, can't like, do that. To they Tasha. got this soft spot. We've seen it like at the gala. It was like those lingering eyes. I know. And those okay. longing touches. Mm -hmm. Like kind of, you still that you despite everything that happened between them, like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this it might still happen. finale had me all in my feelings and so anxious mm -hmm. and like my anxiety a lot of and emotions and then it just went kind of this way yeah this is that's why for me it felt like a part one of two right you right. know with the whole thing with Kanan I do I, however 50 oh, yeah. I do appreciate you know Kanan mm -hmm. having a soft spot because Kanan really honestly could have kept his mouth shut and just been like, yo, I'm only worried about getting dragged, getting his money. Right. We about to take that, you know? Mm -hmm. But he did give Tommy a call and say, hey, yo, you know, this little boy, he, he ain't answering his phone. He did ask me about Ray Ray. Right. And so Kanan was kind of the one. Who yeah, he let Tommy go. Yeah. Yeah. who did it, yeah. essentially. Essentially, who did it so they won't be out. Because they could have went and started a whole entire unnecessary war. Oh, oh yes. over something with the Jimenez, and those are people you do not want to start a war with. Y'all saw how they killed those that family and took the True. baby, okay. and took the baby. We still don't have to the baby, so I mean, yeah. yeah she's giving us living a good life with the Jimenez. I know, but I said that I tweeted that last week that I would love for Tommy, Ghost, and Keenan to get together and take out Dre, yeah. and I'm yes. so glad that. Uh, they yeah. came into fruition. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be like the they, three they amigos to, again. They mm -hmm. need yeah. to like, because they know him individually. Like, Ghost knows their business side mm -hmm. of him. Kanan knows him because he brought him into the loop. Mm -hmm. And then Tommy was working with him when Ghost wasn't. So I think they, each of their individual knowledge of Dre, they need that to take him and out. And it's like, if you think about it too, it's kind of like three generations almost because you have Kanan who mentored Ghost and then you have Ghost who mentored Dre. And so Dre is kind of biting the hand that fed him. I think, yes. Listen, I'm telling y'all, next yes. season there's going to be an episode called Don't Bite the Hand That Feeds You and that's going to be the episode where Dre dies. Okay. <laughs> it's like hashtag um, <laughs> Courtney on this one. <laughs> Courtney, you watch it, girl. Listen, Courtney, you, you got my first girl. Right? Okay. <laughs> listen, I am so here for that and I am so living for it. Mm -hmm. And I also am really, really, as much as Tyreek got on my nerves, my last mm -hmm. name this season. Mm -hmm. He needed a It open. was so different to finally see him stand up and say, like, listen, Dre. And Dre, like, I did that for you. I ain't done right. for you. And he was like, listen, if you don't tell me X, Y, and Z what I need to know, I'm going to tell my father mm -hmm. and I'm going to tell my Uncle Tommy and I'm going to let them deal with you. How about mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. How about that? <laughs> Catch me yeah. outside. Like, <laughs> He really started to. He came. He became a man. man. And yeah, he, he, he became, became a man, man. But you know, and <laughs> it was just like about time. And the fact that he killed the police officer. I mean, like that was a huge stepping stone because this whole season we saw him get a little bit more involved into that life, mm -hmm. right? Inch by inch by inch, each episode he did a little bit more, and then it all culminated with the him killing a police officer as his first kill Not as a cop. Yeah. That's big. That's a huge deal. His first kill as a cop. Do we recall when we first met Dre? We first, let's go back to Portimore. season four when we met him. And he baby. And he had his girl and his daughter and they were living in the projects in Queens. Yes, they are projects. Okay, so don't let nobody tell you different. They were projects. Um, and now, can we discuss the dormant building that he was coming out of on this episode? What's the oh, thing? I didn't even think about that. that. Is, no, that is an actual real building. It's in Midtown Manhattan. I can guarantee that his place? that that's where he's living because those are apartments. I need to run that back. That yeah. is run it back. When did, when did he come out? When, when, when Ray Ray was standing outside of where he lives now. And um, oh. Tommy was watching. 
That that was his a new apartment building. But he has been taking front over desk con, front desk mm -hmm. concierge and everything. Mm -hmm. Like and now you trying to be like. He has been taking over truth, so he had all season long to kind of. He's been he's been making a yeah. come up, but it was all because of Ghost and Tommy. It was, and now he's. I think he's going to probably partner up with the Jimenez. Remember, he did partner with them to take out Tommy, wasn't that? And he took out the priest. He, he took out. Yeah. Basically, I mean, he basically took the organization from Tommy. It's not no longer ghosts because he really wasn't trying mm -hmm. to be in that life anymore. But he basically went to the Jimenez and was like, "Look, I can basically give y'all a better." deal for your bank for your butt. Mm -hmm. He got everybody turned against Tommy, so everybody walked out, but essentially they just was switched sides to mm -hmm. Dre's side. So mm -hmm. now Tommy doesn't have anything. And he went to the Jimenez and was like, look, y'all gonna so be dealing with me now. Mm -hmm. And that's what their uh, partnership is for now. And so, mm -hmm. you know, the, the dynamic trio takes him out. I think Dre is going to get, like you said, everything he deserves. I think the team that switched on Tommy for Dre is going to switch right back from Dre to Tommy next season. Mm -hmm. I feel like hundred percent. I feel like loyalty. Tommy's going to take all them out. I feel like right, right. Sides, y'all not loyal. We'll start from scratch. Like it might just around. be a whole war yeah. just all around next season. But see, Tommy may not need to go even get them back because let's not forget. Tommy found his father this season, and on the very last mm -hmm. clip, we see Tommy say, who wants to tell you? Mm -hmm. So let's be perfectly honest, like when you think about New York and you think about like mm -hmm. the Italian mafia and everything else, like they have soldiers. Mm -hmm. Like just how they, you know, they are about it, about it, and the Crystal Balls gang and the Jimenez and everything else, you also have to give the Italian mafia that same credit mm -hmm. because they are like they they stay ready. Mm. They stay ready, and considering that Teresi has no other children except for Tommy, and Tommy, he has nothing to lose. I mean, exactly. he's in jail for life, so exactly. the least he can do he is help his son. What you need, son? Yes, he's like, mm -hmm. what, what do you need? Mm -hmm. And we see that very very clearly when oh, oh boy was there for like two hours. Mm. Um, uh, what's the, the Spanish guy? And oh, Sandoval. Sandoval. Oh, yeah, Sandoval yeah, yeah. was there. He didn't even get finished being processed. <laughs> you you and they, were talking hours. Done. And done. he was like, what you need, son? Mm -hmm. No problem. Mm -hmm. So we, we see that very, that Teresi still from behind bars has the power That's to do yeah. all of those things yeah. that need to be done. And if Tommy, who is his only son, you know, needs something, right. he's going to get it. Right. They want to have two, essentially two major armies. Yeah. Yes. Battling it out with Ghost Tommy and Kanan on the forefront of one and then Dre and the Jimenez on the forefront of the other. Because I'm sure they're probably going to pull in a third party. Mm -hmm. So maybe the people who almost killed Tommy, remember when they brought him to that ditch? The service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they the might service. partner up with them. I mean, this, this is going to be messy. It's going to be messy. Predictions for season five. Where, where would you like to, where do you see mm -hmm. the season going? I see more of Councilman Tate and mm -hmm. not in a good way, in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, it's going to be the bad I, guy. I do believe that he had an intricate part in why Angela is in the position she's in now mm -hmm. in regards to her promotion. So, just mark that I said that, mm -hmm. noted. Um, I see Tasha fighting the good fight as a grieving mother and knowing, I think that a lot's going to come out about Ray Ray being a dirty cop. I think that oh, all of that yeah. I think that all of that is gonna to come to the forefront. I would love to see my boy, the other lawyer, come back. Proctor? I would love to Remember see in come Proctor back. he still has so all that evidence. evidence. We, we he has, has the laptop. Evidence. Yeah. He has the laptop. Um I would love to see Proctor come back. But you know, I I like I like Proctor. He had to do what he had to do. I would have would have got it. I, I feel like he's gonna come back because he's going to, that's an unsolved mystery. Like he right. still has this computer mm -hmm. nobody has investigated and we don't yeah. his death at all um mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's i feel like that's definitely gonna come up and i think proctor's gonna come back and probably save the day because here's what i think i think tasha is going to be the one who's in jail next season yes um for sure because she's going to take the rap for tyreek terry is going to be her lawyer slash lover i think he's going to cross her do her wrong and that's when proctor's going to come back and save the day somehow I don't know, some way, somehow, hopefully he does. Um, but yeah, I think Tasha's going to be the one who's in jail this season. And it's going to be Ghost's turn to kind of be the head of the household, just like Tasha was when he was away. And so Ghost is going to have to step up, be the father, and also 
be at the forefront of this major war that's going to take place. So I think it's it's going to be a lot oh, happening. Oh, being an upstanding citizen. A businessman. Jason. And action. don't forget that Maria is back and she snitched on them. So the cops, cops yeah. essentially know that he is really ghost. And unless Councilman Tate or someone else can kind of put an end to her, then everybody's screwed. Season five, I definitely feel like is so many unanswered questions for this. Definitely the big war is coming. The great, I mean, it's, it's different from the great war of World Game War III. Thrones, <laughs> but it is a great war. And um, I think, again, it's gonna be another big body pile. Like this season, season four had a, a lot of depths, a lot mm -hmm. of significant depths that hurt us all. But I think I would just love for Dre to, I mean, I'm sure they're not gonna take him out as early in the season because mm -hmm. it has to go through a whole season, but I would love for Dre to get taken out as soon as possible. That's mm -hmm. my only hope and wish because he's he's been so sneaky and snaky and he gotta go. But what would be so crazy is if somehow, because in season four, Angela and Tasha kind of had this uh, understanding yes. moment, like help me. Like I know yes. we are on opposite sides, but I need you to help me. Can you check my son's phone? No cops, like, you know, do that sneak stuff that you was doing with ghosts. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, I don't know, I would like to see these two maybe team up in some sort of way. Because even they had this conversation about, like, Tasha, like, she felt like, I know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like, don't do it. Like, mm -hmm. let the cops handle it. So even when she came to the scene, it was like, you know, run those uh, bullet casings. Like, she kind of already kind of knew who it was going to get traced back to. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if he's going to, like, try to get her hands on that to kind of cover the family. You know, maybe that's why she was put like you said put in that position because they know the type of stuff that she's been doing mm -hmm. essentially to help ghosts and everybody associated with him and now like, she's kind of implicated in herself through the stuff that she's done in the past so i don't know they might be yeah. one big happy family where they might just try to you know help each other out in season five the underlying tagline was who will turn from the very beginning when we you know go back up a couple episodes in a and b convo tv mm -hmm. I've always said Angela is going to become a part of Ghost World. Mm -hmm. However, she will still keep her position in, you know, like as, as an AUSA. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm trying to tell you if you guys have paid attention, especially to the previous episode um, where unfortunately Raina is killed and they're at this gala. Her boss, and I forgot the black woman's name, I forgot her name. had a little tete-a-tete -tete yeah. with Councilman Tate. And then all of a sudden, because I was, even I was absolutely positive that Mock was going to get that position. Absolutely mm -hmm. positive. I didn't get the sense he, that he I was. did, because he was the only one. Like, how can you give it to somebody in that, who's previously in that office, mm -hmm. and everybody mm -hmm. turned a blind eye to the fact that not only was she sleeping with, at one point she was living with right. the man that we were investigating being a drug kingpin of New York. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. There's no mm -hmm. way on earth that anybody in that office should have gotten that promotion. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have even kept their jobs when mm -hmm. you took think ethically. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was true. like, okay, this is going to be mock, and mock is going to come with some more BS, and he want to, you know, yeah. keep it going. Next thing you know, <laughs> Angela Valdez. <laughs> it's like... So yeah, but if you think about it, don't you think she would try her best to clear her name, clear her past? So maybe she might just come after them to save her job? I don't know. I feel like Angela no. is so... <laughs> yeah, like she's jeopardized her job so much in the past. And even if she was like yelling at Jamie like, this is my job, I almost lost my job for you. But you still keep doing stuff to help me. So. Right, mm -hmm. right. That is true. <laughs> that is true. I, think I mean, because let's be perfectly honest, she went and told Terry. There was absolutely no reason why she should have told Terry. Right. Mm -hmm. No reason. Right. I mean, eventually he would have found out. However, by the time he found out, Sandoval, Sandoval would have been, been in yeah. protective custody. Mm -hmm. And James would have been, and Tommy would have been back in jail. Mm -hmm. Let's be clear for that. So, yeah. it's just like, you know, you had to, I feel like you had to arrest him because you found his fingerprints. Mm -hmm. You had to arrest him. Mm -hmm. Then you got on the stand. Miss, what you take this stand for? Like, mm -hmm. why would you want to stand in the first place? Mm -hmm. But okay, we let you slide with that. Then we go back to when, you know, Lobos and then the other Spanish guys, yeah. she, talk, she talked to him. She talked him out of snitching on goals. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just been time after time. And the more I think about it, I think Angela was. She turned. Yeah. She turned. 
She turned. She and turned again, on her own team. She turned yeah. on her own team. Like I've said from and, the beginning. And Tariq also turned and yeah. during, you know, most of the season, he turned on Ghost essentially by working with Kanan. Now granted he didn't know who Kanan was, mm -hmm. but he knew Kanan was somebody who didn't like his father. And so he essentially turned, but it all came full circle at the end when he saw the same people he turned on were the same people that had his back and cleaned up his mess after he killed Ray Ray. Yep. So it goes to show family is everything. Yeah. Family is everything. I think this is the most I've ever heard the youngest child ever speak. Oh, <laughs> First of all, when did she get so old? Like, okay. Wasn't she just, just a like, baby? Like, like an infant. <laughs> she went from an infant to like five. I mean, you probably think too much into it. Okay. <laughs> but still, hey, whatever. Okay, they do up. this soap operas all the time. Girl. It'll go off on Friday, and then on Monday, somebody will be a preteen. Yeah. You'll be like, <laughs> how many years went by? Right. <laughs> but it's true. The hell? So, but, oh, yeah, solid season. Um, I think it was a solid season. Mm -hmm. I hope that they continue to stay with Star and Stars. I hope you do your due diligence and give them the amount of episodes that they actually need mm -hmm. um, to make season six a true, like, really juicy, like, give me everything season. Um, I think that if they go to BET, you can expect to lose a lot of viewers. So <laughs> yeah. let's not do that. Just my thing. Yeah, I agree. This was probably my favorite season. Season one and season four, hands down, my favorite season from um, Power. However, I want them to go to HBO. So that way it could be Power, Insecure, and Ballers, or whatever that lineup is. And then HBO would just be like the monopoly of yeah. premium channels. Right. Um, BET, definitely no. Because then you're going to add in commercials. You're going to have to get rid of the nudity. You're going to have to get rid of the cursing. And you're just going to strip power from everything that we love about it. You know? So, I can see them on HBO. HBO, you need to swoop them up before... Don't go to Netflix or something like that. I want you to stay with, stay on cable. Yeah, stay on cable. Because we were talking about going to Netflix. Uh, and it would be like... Crazy. It would just be so different. It would be so different. People would like binge the first... Yeah, and I don't want all spoilers. these episodes yeah. available at once. Yeah. Mm -mm. I, I like it being on cable. No comment. See, she's a she. I mean, we like, we like, we do love our binge watching. We love our binge watching. But that would just be. It takes away from the suspense of yeah, power. It would waiting be week after. Now we got to wait a year. Oh, Lord. Yeah. yeah. 30. What were your take, takeaways for this season? I mean, besides my beloved Julio. Julio. <laughs> I'm still not over it. Um, besides Did you my. See no, what was Hashtag that? Finance Julio. <laughs> I mean, she ain't never lie. <laughs> it started off good. Uh, it was that little slow period after Ghost got out mm -hmm. of jail, which was like the episodes really like washed. Mm -hmm. But then it picked back up and it was a solid, solid effort, uh, solid season. Good job, stars. Good job, writers. Mm -hmm. And we'll we'll see what happens next season. Yeah. yeah. Looking forward to it. Yes, definitely. So we would love to know what you guys favorite moments are were from season four of power be sure to hit us up on social media at a and b combo tv that is on instagram and twitter be sure to subscribe to this channel comment in the comments below and anya anything you plug your channel yeah absolutely <laughs> you guys can find me everywhere at anya lachelle i am also a youtuber just like my homegirls over here so feel free to check out my channel given Funny commentary on the latest entertainment news and celebrity gossip. All right, well, we'll see you guys again later this week for a regular episode of A&B Convo TV. And thanks for watching. Yeah, and American Horror Story, let's not forget. Yeah. Oh. AHS. <laughs> My favorite. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs>